What's up, BookTube? I want to talk a little bit about what I am reading right now, currently, as I film this video. Now, depending on when I release this video, I could be done with this book, but we shall see because I am a notoriously slow reader. But I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint. One of my favorite books that I've read in the last couple of years is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And the book that I'm reading right now was first endorsed by Taylor Jenkins Reid and will definitely give you some Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo vibes. And if you really like this book, I think you're going to be interested in the one I'm going to talk about next. So the book I'm reading is Did You Hear About Kitty Carr? And this is written by Crystal Smith Paul. And it uh, right here, it's got uh, a quote from Taylor Jenkins Reid, Intoxicating and Seductive. And so right now, let me check and see. I am uh, only a, a meager 14 pages into this, but I'm really excited about this book. A uh, multi-generation story about a, uh, a multi-millionaire who leaves her estate worth millions to uh, the St. John's sisters who are black women. And of course the, the multimillionaire with uh, leaving the estate, she's white. And so you can, you, can, you can already see where that's going right here. And again, going back to the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo, uh, you can maybe get a little bit of a feel for, for, for how this might go. And so, um, because it, it goes back into uh, the, gl the glamor days of Hollywood again, lot of what you saw a little bit in The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, uh, but again, a different type of a story, but uh, some similarities there. And, and when I started to hear about this, when I got really, really excited about uh, this story, and, um, you know, it, it really, uh, it, it just, the, the topic really hooked me. Uh, this is a Reese's Book Club book as well. And um, I don't want to say I made the mistake of buying it too soon, but it ended up being a book of the month uh, selection, and then I had already bought it and already had it, and then it popped up on book of the month. So uh, that's how my luck goes. Actually, that happened to me twice this past month, but that's a story for another day. I was really excited about this book because I, you know, it touches on a lot of things that I think uh, are really, um, really grab at me. And probably a lot of other people, too, because I've been seeing a lot of buzz about this in social media, a lot of buzz about this, uh, at least some buzz about this uh, throughout BookTube. And so uh, I'm excited to, to really dig into this book. Uh, I think it's going to be a really fascinating read, a very intriguing read. I, I just got done I, uh, on another video. I talk about The House of Wolves by James Patterson and Mike Lupica, where you got some family dynamics and some things that are going on uh, that kind of start to boil over a little bit. And I'm thinking... That's a lot of what we have going on here. And so I'm really excited to, uh, to read about this and uh, to explore this author that uh, has popped up on the scene. And so um, if you've read this book, I would really love to see uh, some comments about it in the comment section below because I'm, I'm enjoying it right now. Again, just uh, 14 pages in, but did you hear about Kitty Carr? Very, very fascinating story. Again, there's a racial dynamic. Um, there's, a, there's a privilege dynamic. And uh, there's a kind of a clash of cultures and socioeconomic backgrounds that I just found really intriguing. So uh, if you've read this, let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. If you're interested in it, tell me a little bit about why you're interested in it. Uh, maybe it's the same reasons that I'm interested in it.